<laughs> Campbell, Campbell, Campbell. Hey. Hey, I just opened Blender and my 3D cursor was gone. Okay, um, well, it shouldn't be gone by default, but there is now an option to disable the 3D cursor. Oh. Which uh, is an overlay, so you can click th show 3D cursor, like this. Um, yeah, so you don't need an add-on to do that anymore. Um, however, there is also 3D orientation for the 3D cursor. So you can click it like this, but if you rotate the view, it's actually 3D. So the 3D cursor is finally 3D now. Yep. Well, it was kind of 3D before, but you can also... It, w it was only taking into account the location. Yep. Yep. Um, so this is part of... Uh, the tool system uh, work, so I've uh, made it so you can add new objects using the cursor's orientation. So this means you can click on a surface and then drag out the uh, drag out the object. Um, so I guess I'll just I'll show that. Um, so we've got the Add Cube tool, which does not yet have an icon. First, you click on the surface to set where the three D cursor is, right? Yep, and then you just drag, and you've got your cube. You can start placing cues. Oops, I just resized that one by accident, and you can. Nice. So this could, like, if you you could click on the roof and and put yep. chimneys or. Yep. So you just click here and drag out, drag out shapes. Um, you can't see it in this example because everything is kind of aligned. But um, if you add, say a cube here and you rotate it, clicking the cursor orients to the cube. So if you wanted to add on top of oh. on top of it you can also do do this. Like that. Nice. Which could be useful uh, yeah in other cases too. We'll probably have some different ways of orienting the cursor. Like maybe you don't even want to change the orientation um, or you might want to orient it to the faces, not just the object's or, uh, rotation. Like some snapping options yeah, for yeah. snap to face normal. Yes, yes. And the other thing is that I didn't show is you can now select cursor as a transform orientation. So you can use the cursor. Um, oh, there's a, a refresh glitch there, but um, yeah, so the cursor can be used. Oh, so the no, so the manipulator aligns to the th new <laughs> 3D cursor. Yeah, yeah. Rotation of the 3D cursor. Yeah, there's, wow. a, there's an update glitch that needs to be fixed, but yeah. That's fantastic. It saves a lot of time because in 2.7 you could only do this with custom transforms, right? Yes, and they're a little bit of a hassle to add each time. Yeah, yeah. to edit and everything, yeah. Yep. Wow, fantastic. This is already in 2.8. So uh, it should be in by the time people watch this. <laughs> by the time people watch it, yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you. Okay. That's a great nice. news. Bye. <laughs>